Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do another one of these Geraldo strategies, and this is uh, the buffed sun avatars strategy. So three buffed sun avatars, and this is how we do it. I'm going to be showcasing this on X Factor, which is a really, really hard map. So I'm going to be doing a few more things that aren't really necessary in your game. So what a lot, so a lot of things that I do may look a little complicated and overdone when. Uh, translated onto your board and that's all right i will kind of tell you what uh like what is necessary and that is that so let's get into it so i'm going to be doing just a simple sniper dart start and then i am going to go into some druids o 3 o druids with uh Jaldo. they're pretty good like that just to beat the early rounds um on an easier map, you can just go like straight into the Druids, but for this map, I'm going to be using some of Geraldo's abilities, like the uh, shooty turrets, uh, but for an easier map, you probably don't need them, um, but that is that, so let's go on to when we actually have the Druids. Alright, I got the Druid, because this is a lot harder map, I'm going to have to use a lot more items. It's a bit later than you would normally get it, just note that for 28, you need one oh sniper. And for 24, you need O10 Sniper, and then we'll be able to get the uh, O3 Druid, and then I'm going to get a second one. Um, for 33, let's put a Camo Potion on one of the Druids. Uh, for some harder rounds, you can use the Sharpstone and Pickle on the Druid, that will make it a lot better. And let's continue on. So, I'm going to do a Sniper mid-game, and that will allow us to push into the Super Monkey. So for the rest of these rounds that we're going to have the druid and the sniper carry let's get bouncing bullet out buff it and then 40 i'm going to do a uh, jerry fire and a maelstrom to clean up the mob that will pretty much work in all cases i don't think you'll need more firepower than that for 40 so let's get that set and that will beat 40 and then let's go into the uh, discount villages because i am doing uh, super monkeys, especially a lot of super monkeys and their sun avatars. I'm going to be doing three discount villages, so let's get them all. And also something to note that uh, we're doing three super monkeys, which takes up a lot of space, but because we're using Geraldo, we can use the cape and really pack them in. So before I upgrade any super monkeys, I'm going to get all three of the um, dart monkeys in there and the alchemists too. So we can really use that space up well. You'll see it when I do it. But I get uh, drums on the middle village. And we'll get one with camo too. So there's the uh, three dark monkeys. I can fit the alchemists in there too. One alchemist, two alchemists. That's all you need. Very good. And those villages are ready to go. And we're ready to go into a super monkey. Alright, so for the cross paths of the super monkey. I'm going to be doing one, two, Oh, or one three oh two and then two three two o's and then i'm going to have a uh i think either cryos or impacts i think for this i did cryos on each side to help some ceramics that are trying to leak by and then for mid game for this i use a bunch of jerry fire because this map is so hard on a lot of easier maps you won't have to do this um but on harder maps you probably will have to do it so you could just like go and see if it's need to be done but if uh, not you don't have to do it and then as soon as i can i'm going to start placing the uh, bunnies uh, so that we can get the mega bunny up for mid game so we're gonna have the mega bunny doing some work and that's going to allow us to go into the sun avatars very well and the mega bunny also does some nice work cleaning up ceramics later on so it's cool to have that so we get the cherry fire we're going for sun avatar and mega bunny at the same time um on advanced maps you can get the mega bunny for 63 which is very cool and if you're doing an intermediate map you kind of have to uh go for the sun avatar before 63 so if you're doing a uh intermediate map or lower don't go for the mega bunny until you have the sun avatar uh, so that's kind of the order for the mid-game. Once you get the Sun Avatar, you're going to be chilling until the rest. So let's catch up to there. Oh, I forgot to mention, on the Super Monkey that we're using for the first Sun Avatar, prioritize buff a 320 Alchemist on that, and that will help you out. Okay, goodbye.
All right, so we got that one sun avatar, and it's time to get the next super monkeys. So these ones are going to be cross path with the range because they do so much more damage, and we don't need a whole lot of the uh, stun. So I'm going to get the two two O's, and then we'll get these to sun avatars. Like so, I had a very close call because I forgot that you need to buy camo village for round 78. So do that so the uh, other super monkeys can see the camo blends for that wave. But anyways, now I'm going to be getting uh, the two sun avatars and then we're going to be getting some support for them. So for the 80s and plus, you need to pickle the sun avatars and you need to make sure that pickles are on. This is the most annoying thing. I uh, lost a run on X Factor while recording because I forgot that the pickle buff was off. But the pickle buff makes the sun avatars so, so much better. So you have to make sure that the pickle buff is on them. Um, we're going to be getting the last sun avatar shortly. And then we'll get some more support. I got that other alchemist to 401. And then the, uh, and then later on, no, 420 is the middle one. And later on, we'll get the other alchemist to 401. Um, I'm getting the cryo cannons here in range of a 420 village, and we'll get the last one after. Make sure we get pickle, and we're good to go. All right, so this is the last sun avatar. We'll get pickle on it too. Then you get this 401 alchemist, and then we'll grab some other support. So for the other support that we need, we'll get Moab glue, and then um, we can also use the Geraldo. Uh, abilities. Oh, also we got Sabo too. So we can use Riju for the Sabo if we need that. I think I used that here and there. We can use some Maelstroms for 98 or 96 if we need a little bit of extra damage, which I do do. We use the Genies for uh, the hard rounds. So 98 uses a Genie. So we get Genie for 98, 99. And then you can also use a Genie for 95 and 96. And then for round 100, we're going to be getting some uh, extra support to do lots of damage to round 100. But you just have to make sure that your pickle is up. Um, if you're going to lose run, it's probably because a uh, pickle wasn't up. So the sun avatars with that pickles are a lot weaker. So you got to keep that in mind. And it, after that, it should be pretty good. Alright, so round 98 is coming up, we'll put that genie down to do some extra damage, and then I'm going to be going for a spike storm uh, to deal with 100. I'll keep a reju for the spike storm, and then I'm going to be using um, the maelstroms here to deal with some of these CMGs. You can also use the creepy totems, they're actually really good, pretty underrated, you should try them out, but that will be 100. We can sap 99. And then use that spike storm. Uh, you can use it twice with the rejuve to kill 100, and that will beat X Factor Chimps with three sun avatars. Of course, this is a really, really hard map, and on a lot of easier maps, especially advanced maps, lower, uh, you aren't gonna have that much troubles. So that is the strategy. I hope you can get some wins with it, and goodbye.